Welcome everyone. In this course, we are going to build an CRUD application, create, read, update, and delete using Node.js, Express.js, and MongoDB. We'll be using a API application programming interface, and we use some uh, MVC uh, thing, okay, um, and uh, EJS. So we'll start building our app. And uh, before that, let me show my uh, expected output, okay? And uh, I wanted you also to try it in your system. Hello everyone, myself Vijay. So I'm very happy to see you all again in our uh, new course. So in this uh, lecture, uh, in this Odami course, we are going to uh, learn about the CRUD application. We are going to create a, a API. Uh, CRUD API that means CRUD application that is create, read, update, and delete uh, using uh, Express JS, Node JS, MongoDB, and we'll be using uh, EJS uh, TypeScript. Okay, EJS, and so we will be uh, um, creating a, a app. So this is a a slight intro part. Okay, this will this will be our output. So I will explain uh, the output first. So since I would like to publish my course free, uh, I'm sorry that I'm restricted with the limit of two hours of video only. So that uh, I'm trying to move on first. And so at the end of the two hours, okay, at the end of this course, you will also be able to uh, code uh, this program and able to do the output also so let me start with this uh, output so this is how uh, my output uh, looks okay so i have started my nodemon okay if you are very fam uh, already learned uh, node.js and express this will be this lecture this uh, lecture will be very very easy also so as you see here on my screen i have my uh, just a crud application for user management system so I have a button here for new user. If I click that, I'll be uh, move on to add user uh, URL where uh, it asks me for uh, entering a new user. It asks me for my name, email, uh, gender, okay, whether male or female, status, whether active or inactive. So I can give all these things I can and I can give save. So for example, let me give uh, okay, let me give mark and let me give uh, mark one two three at gmail dot com okay some randomly so some mail and i'm going to say i'm active and i'm going to save this user so it uh, pop offs me okay it gives me an alert data inserted successfully so i can give okay so it has this data has been successfully inserted and i can also see it in my mongodb i'm going to give okay so if i come to all users you can see the id3 i have my uh, inserted record okay mark mark123 at gmail.com is email gender i gave mail active i gave if i want to delete this i can also delete and this button is for updating so i have created a record now i can i will uh, i can read it from mangodb okay that i will show it in the process and now here this action field i can also in this button is used to update it so i want to update my user so mark mark123 i want to update the status to inactive and I let me save this it is uh, saying that data updated successfully i want that data to be updated i want the status to be from change uh, update from active to inactive so i want i have changed to inactive and it shows data updated successfully and i'm going to click now okay and let me see the all users now you can see the status for mark has been changed to inactive if i want to rec uh, delete this record i can also click this button to delete so it uh, alerts me do you really want to delete this record i am going to give okay okay data deleted successfully okay now you can see the third id surya uh, sorry mark after surya mark uh, and his email id gender status everything that record and complete record has been deleted so i have created i have read updated and deleted the um, is record so this is how uh, my output works this is a crud application okay it's a api application programming interface so i have used a node.js 
express and for database i have used mongodb so let us start into our code let me directly jump into visual studio code and uh, start explaining uh, the folder structure so that you can also try it in your system all right welcome back let me directly i will jump to visual studio code so open your visual studio code so you can uh, go to your c drive or and uh, create a uh, folder called crud app okay name your folder as crud app okay uh, crud stands for create read update and delete okay name your folder as crud app okay after creating your folder as crud app op um, you have to create a, a folder called uh, assets okay create a fo uh, folder called assets so you can i have already created okay since my uh, course udemy course lecture is only for 2 hours since i wanted to publish it free for everyone uh, i am restricted with the time limit of 2 hours so i have already pasted the code for uh, simplicity and uh, time consuming so now so that uh, you could also pause this video and uh, try implementing it i have also given my uh, github repository link in description so uh yeah my github repository is in github vijay arjun 2k slash crud app okay vijay arjun 2k if you go uh, if you visit that uh, my github web page uh, github page you could see this uh, repository uh, the, you can see this project as a repository and you can uh, download it or you can copy paste and uh, you can uh, implement the uh, project so first after creating your uh, new folder crud app okay you can have to create a folder you can name the folder asset inside asset you have to create another two folder like css and js okay if you click this button okay for new folder you have to click this button so clicking this you have to click uh, create new folder name css name it css name it G uh, js and inside css okay it's a cascading style sheet css stands for cascading style sheets so name the uh, create another uh, file okay create new file there name it as style.css and then inside js create new file index.js okay so this is all with assets now create another folder named server inside folder inside uh, folder server create uh, these uh, folders to create a fold new folder uh, name it as controller and another one database model routes services later part of the video i, I will explain about uh, what are what are uh, controller what is model what are routes i will explain it later so now you can create these folders by clicking this okay new folder so inside controller create a folder uh, uh, create a new file controller.js okay so this is a javascript file namely that is why it is getting an extension uh, with .js so create new file controller.js inside controller and inside database create a new file okay create a new file by clicking this create new file name it as connection.js and inside model create a new file model.js and similarly in routes inside routes create router.js and inside services create render.js and uh, after server create a new folder okay views inside that create a, a new folder include inside and uh, create new file uh, footer dot underscore footer dot ejs so it is a typescript okay expert js okay footer dot ejs form dot ejs header dot ejs show dot ejs okay and uh, inside views folder create a new file add user dot ejs index update user okay create all these okay you, can, you could also pass this video and you can add this okay after creating you uh, inside crud app you can create a new file server.js so this is the server.js file so before that create uh, click new terminal so move on to your application definitely it will be it have been uh, to your crud application here i have uh, I have saved my crud application folder in D folder. In case if you have uh, created it in C folder, it will be like C colon slash crud app. So here you have to give um, 
uh, you are going to install some dependencies like uh, you will be in, uh, you will not be creating these folders okay for this you have to install some de dependencies for this package log.json and package.json so let, uh, let uh, you have to install these things so let me say that so now you can uh, as you see okay as you see so as you could see here uh, uh, first you have to give npm in it okay for initializing your project so after initializing it it asks for uh, your package name if you are uh, if you have already learned if you have, have we already have a basic knowledge of node.js you would have definitely known okay so for that i am not going to show you everything here okay after giving this click enter so you will be asked with a uh, uh, it asks for your package name give the package name as your applic your folder name that is your app name crud app it will shows your version okay and it asks for description uh, it shows the entry point okay entry point we will uh, set it later so entry point it asks for entry point it shows the test command and git repository and it asks for keywords so when it asks for keywords you could give the keyword as crud comma you can give the keyword as crud comma mongodb and it asks for author so you can give your name so with this uh, our setup is it almost ready so with that note uh, you could see your package.json file created okay after that your packages package.json file will be created so in that you can see your scripts inside script you could see test and start in start you will have a node server.js so you can name it as node mon node mon okay you can give it as node mon uh, space server.js okay so create like that so your crud will be uh, create uh, your packages package.json will be ready up to that so now uh, okay after all these things okay you can open this terminal and you have to install some dependencies so for that you give uh, npm i i for install npm i express morgan okay morgan is also a dependency we needed for this crud app uh, create uh, we have we have to in, uh, install node mon ejs okay ejs is for express js okay it is also a very easy framework for front end framework um backend frame sorry and uh, we need a body parser okay give it like this hyphen body hyphen parser so body parser is used for used for serializing the data and we also need a dot in env file okay dot env env dependency this is for uh, your um, security purpose okay when you connect to mongodb uh, you need not want your credentials to be uh, uh, exposed to uh, other users for that we use our you we use a dependency called dot env and we also need a dependency called mongoose um, so i hope uh, uh, another another thing is we need axios okay axios is also used it makes it makes the code easy to make a request in express application for that we use axios now click enter okay it will install all the packages i have already installed packages it, it takes some time to install it so we will wait uh, until this all installs okay the, after installing we have to follow the few things Okay. I installed all the dependencies. Okay. I don't want to use this. Yeah. So as you could see here. So that is all with okay, that is all with your uh, package.json. So we have installed all our dependency and we have changed uh, the main to please note that the main should be your server.js and starts to be node one server.js so after this uh, since we have already created a, a server.js under crud app okay open that so you could uh, copy and copy paste these okay uh, you could copy paste uh, these code okay let me first before that uh, let me explain you the basic thing 
so i think uh, you might have already known node.js but um so here uh, these are all a familiar thing so i have created a since i have installed the dependencies like express okay express dot env morgon body parser i have uh, used these things so i have to give like this const express equal to require of express dot env morgan body parser okay and then the path i'm going to ask now that also i have to give and uh, to connect the db okay i have to give const connect db equal to require of this i will come back to later okay before that give this okay const app equal to express of in that dot env dot config path colon config dot env and the port i am going to use is 3000 okay local was 3000 is the port i am going to use so give const port equal to process dot env dot port okay 3000 and then for using this uh, morgan dependency we are uh, these are for log a log request okay whenever uh, uh, user requests uh, for logging no we use uh, the, the that is the time where we are using this morgan so app dot use of morgan of tiny you have to give okay uh, mongodb uh, just give connect db of just to uh, establish the for just establishing the mongodb connection give uh, connect db of semicolon and for passing the request to body parser you have to give uh, you have to give this okay app dot use of body parser dot url encoded of extended true and then for setting the view engine you have to give app dot set of view engine comma ejs okay since we have created many ejs files in uh, uh no we have to give this we have to set it and then um, we have to set that to the corresponding directory okay in views folder we have uh, sorry in views folder we have various uh, express right ejs for uh, so for that we have set the path okay the directory name so i have given i have loaded all the assets like app dot use of that the assets are okay here are the assets css and js so for css and JSS, i have given directory name and also for image i have given the image okay and for loading the routers okay as you could see the routers are here in the uh routes okay server routes folder okay so i have given the spec uh, specifying the passes dot slash server slash route slash router okay for that i have given okay we will come back to this router later so here i have given and uh, for listening to the port 3000 i have given app dot listen port uh, i have to console server is running on localhost 3000 so here uh, when i when i type a npm uh, start okay i will be getting uh, some uh, output here as server is running on port 3000 and as well as i will be getting uh, mongodb connected successfully and so on okay some logs i will be getting over there so this is with uh, server.js okay here uh, you have to remember this okay connect db of where we will be using mongodb to establish the connection so with that you can uh, now go to uh, uh, views Okay, here is my views. Okay, so in views folder, you can go to this all these things. Okay, uh, under views, I have created uh, all these things. So index.ejs, I have created right. Open that so you can copy these things from my GitHub repository. So, what I have given here is I have included the EJS framework. If you want to learn about EJS, okay, log visit uh, the official page of EJS and start knowing the basics like syntax and how you have to uh, do include your EJS in your uh, tags and so on. So, here I have included the header, okay. So, header is there in the include of, okay, in, inside the include folder, I have, have footer, EJS, and form header so okay so for that only i have given i have included that in inside the header path okay i have specified the path in main side i have given a id site main and for inside div i have given a class container and another class uh, box navy okay these are for uh, the css tag okay i don't want to go in depth for uh, styling okay cascading style sheet i don't want to go and here i have given a hyperlink for add user okay which goes for this uh, particular thing uh, 
add user okay for that i have given a class border show okay these are some styling okay for form handling i have created a form okay form tag action okay uh, method is post okay post method in that i am going to create a table okay class table uh, table heading is going to be table heading uh, dark okay class uh, th dark th dark okay inside table row i have table heading like id name email gender status action so i have closed that uh, table heading table uh, table row table heading to table body and i include this show okay show here okay till here the ej is uh, i have enclosed the ejs and then close table form dev okay i have closed this so these are things i have, have in index.js and finally i have uh, included the footer where it is in include folder footer okay footer here it is so i have included so let me show you how i have done in that okay sorry so in footer.js i have simply the script tag okay where i have some src for jquery okay and uh, some integrity and so on okay you could copy paste okay and here also i have some source for js index.js okay js where in facets okay i have index.js no for that i have uh, given the script here okay for whatever should be provided i have given the script here and also with uh, header i have given here okay in html i have given the title to be crud application as you could see okay uh, in my uh, output okay user management system i have given the thing okay and i have given some styles in references and also mentioned here css no that i have given the path location for it okay that all, that's all with the header and inside form i have given the form action as api user method to be post add user okay for this add user i have given this form where i have uh, various div classes inside div i have uh, classes like new user okay new user and everything and i have the inputs like name as a text okay name input field email uh, radio buttons for uh, okay radio buttons okay i had uh, i have radio buttons for the uh, gender okay radio button and uh, i have the radio button for status like active or inactive that is all with the form dot ejs and uh, show dot ejs i have uh, these things like i have created a for loop where it give us uh, the users dot length okay it keeps on adding the users with a name email and gender and status respectively and uh, with the table uh, data it gets uh, the anchor tag okay it gets the link for updating the user id with the corresponding uh, users okay whenever a, a user adds the updates the user this is going to show it in the uh, table okay uh, table like table data okay td so that is the uh, that is with this these uh, these uh, code here and here is the add user okay for adding a uh, new user i have given some code okay i have included the header and uh, i have included the form and as well as footer okay and for updating the user yes you can see here okay everything i have given in form uh, with some styling tag okay it will say when uh, it will give an heading right update user use the below form okay and i have given a uh, link for uh, all users and so on okay and uh, it also no shows me here uh, this is the placeholders i have marks yours example okay uh, the placeholders okay it shows the simple form and uh, when user uh, enters the data it, it has to change uh, respectively so for that only i have this update so i think uh, i have explained everything with this views uh, next section we will see the server and other things so again now welcome back okay so now we will open uh, um so open server in that we have created a routes no so router.js open router.js so in this uh, i'm using express okay and then i'm routing it so for that i'm using the services and controller right i have specified the path okay so inside services i have router render.js right for that i have specified the location and for controller also i have specified the location okay and these are some description which will be already available okay for adding using user and for updating user okay 
um, then you will be having this uh, route dot uh, get services dot home routes for the root route okay and services dot add user services dot update user okay after that we can have our API for that we will be posting deleting uh, sorry post we we have post get put and delete okay uh, it is similar to create read update and delete okay so these things will create find update and delete in our controller okay for that only we are using this api and then i have exported this route okay this is all with routes here and uh, we have uh, inside server we have also created a controller folder controller.js open that so in this we will create uh, we will have the mango db name okay and all, all these things okay let me uh, show a quick demo on how to create the database now so for creating the mongodb okay mongodb um, visit the website okay um, you have to open the mongodb uh, atlas okay i have already created okay my thing my account if you have not created so you have to click uh, try free there so i am going to sign in with my gmail account so here with my uh, i have signed in okay with my account so you here you uh, you see you can see clusters okay you have to click connect okay okay and select this okay connect with your application you have to select and you are going to copy and paste this in dot env file okay so we have created a dot env file now you have to copy and paste in over there okay let me close this so you can see your uh, collections okay so i have named it as a default okay you have to create new cluster okay i have named the cluster as default you know cluster zero so after that you have to click connect and uh, select your location okay uh, basically uh, you have these things okay you could also register your region uh, type and so and so if i click this connections collections tab i will be shown with whatever the existing thing i have in my db so as you saw in my first lecture i had the user record of vijay and surya so you could see these things okay I can uh, insert another document over here or I can find here. Okay. I can do anything with this thing. Okay. I have named my collection as my first database. Okay. And the collection name as user D um, database as user DBS. Okay. So inside user DBS one day I have these things. So let me back coming back to this uh, uh, controller.js file. So I have uh, selected this uh, DB name user DB require of model model. Okay. Uh, where I will be having it here in model j uh, model dot dj and uh, sorry js So here I am going to create and save the new users and I can also export this create user based on the request and response as you know This is the arrow function inside arrow function. I can give the condition and whatever I want to return from the uh, Correspond for the corresponding request. I can return the response as well. So if uh, not not uh, request dot body I have to respond with the status of 400 or send off message content cannot be empty. Okay. So, and after returning it, if I, okay, this is for uh, accepting the validate, uh, validating the request. If I want a new user, I can uh, create a, a user in user variable const user equal to new user db inside user db. I have the four fields. I have created four uh, fields like name, email, gender, and status. Okay. Request.body.name. Okay. So and so I have given. And to save your user, save the user in the database, I have to give user and then dot save off user dot then off. Okay, it is a promise. Okay, so I have used uh, promises. So if you know the concepts of promises, okay, do go and uh, surf in website. You have so many uh, tutorials available. Okay, you can uh, just uh, read the document about uh, promises in Node.js. So I have used the promises here. Okay, data arrow function. For uh, responding the data, I have used, I have uh, coded response dot redirect of to the add user location. Okay, it will automatically go to add user and uh, dot catch. Okay, for that promise, it have to catch error 
arrow function okay a response with the status 500 i have to send the message as error message okay some error occurred while creating a uh, current application okay create application like that i am going to give and for retrieving and returning all the user or return a single user i have to export the find okay export dot finds of request dot response if uh, request dot query dot id I have used an ID here in user DB. I have to find by ID of ID. I, I, here again, I have used the promises. So dot then of um, if not data, I have to send the status as message. Not I have to send the message as uh, not found user with the ID with the corresponding ID I have entered. Else I can send the data. Okay, and for catching the uh, promise, I have to send the status like message error retrieving user with that corresponding ID. Or else I can use the user db dot find off then promise a, uh, with a user and then catch an error with sending error occurred while retrieving the user information and how to update a new identified user by user id i have to use this update field okay uh, if not request dot body then i have to uh, send the status like data to update cannot be empty like as i shown in the previous uh, in the first video the output okay i showed the illustration of the output you could saw the um, alert box some pop-up alert box coming showing that data inserted successfully data updated successfully data cannot be empty like that no for that only i have i have these uh, responses so i have used the concept of promises so data to update cannot be empty i have given and um, for finding an update i have used these quotes okay uh, it shows just uh, cannot update user with uh, some id because maybe user not found and other uh, catching the memory error uh, update user information and uh, to delete a user with a specified user id in the request i have uh, used uh, find by id and delete so this also i have uh, used a promise concept and which will cannot uh, which will send a request like response like it cannot uh, delete with the use uh, with that corresponding id maybe id is wrong and or else it will say that a user was deleted successfully if it catched any error then it could say it could not delete a user with that corresponding id so this is with the control js and uh, since we connected with the db okay database mongodb uh, we have already created database right inside that uh, we also created a new file connection dot js so in that i am going to use this dependency mongoose for database connection uh, connect db equal to asynchronous form okay i am going to use a asynchronous promises here so i am going to try and catch i have used try and catch so in try block i have used uh, await function like mongoose.connect of that process.env uh, and i have said uh, the mongo uri okay new user url pass through you have to give these things and uh, and also i am going to print console.log mongoose mongodb connected successfully and i have uh, if any error i am going to catch it and say it's an error and exit with one and i have exported the connect db okay this is all with the connect uh, database mongodb connection and also with this controller.js i have uh, used the promises for uh, creating uh, updating uh, and deleting the records so yes finally we are going to complete our project this we need to do the render.js which is available in uh, uh, services okay so in render we are going to use this axios as i said uh, axios what it does is axios makes it easy to make a request in express application so uh, if you see your um in axios i'm going to include this axios dependency so i have used this and i'm going to export the home routes okay request comma response arrow function and make a get request to api users so axios dot get off uh, given the okay uh, i have given the url url for the users and then i have used the promises where for the function of response i'm going to pass the i'm going to render the index which has the users and its response data okay response dot data that is uh, users uh, uh, date uh, users uh, applicable data it is going to be rendering if i have any error i can cast this promise by sending the error 
and also i have to ex as i export the home routes i have also to i have to also to export the add user and update user add user you can simply just say export dot add user equal to request comma response arrow function response dot render of add user okay but for updating the user you have to use this axios dot get of the location you have to give for user users comma you have to specify the params that is id id will be request dot query dot id and then use the promise like function of user data render update user uh, so that it will update the user data alone so that if if you have any error in this promise then you have to catch that error by sending the error so this is you will use in rendering okay and in model you use the uh, mongoose right you use the mongoose uh, uh, dependency so you have to use that so schema is nothing but a, a table okay so as schema equal to name new dot mongoose So you can see here, uh, I have used mongoose and uh, for schema, I have given the name type as string. It should be required through unique uh, email. It should be unique now. So I have given uh, unique as it's a property and I have set the uh, Boolean value to be true. And for gender also, I have given string and status also as string. And I have used the DB now. I have used the mongoose.model of user DB comma schema and I have exported the user. This I have kept in model and uh, in index uh, js i have used the functions like for submitting the add user what that uh, event okay what the function event must do it has to throw an alert right data insert successfully for that i have used this and for updating the user also when i update user when i click that submit button what i have to do i have to uh, prevent uh, default of function i have used unindexed array equal to this dot serialize array array serious ally of so in that i will have the data its name and its corresponding value and also i have a request uh, variable where it will have uh, properties like url method and the data url will be the simply the url with the corresponding data id and method is nothing but a put a put method and data is the data for this uh, particular request and i use the ajax request dot done now function of response like i'm throwing again another data updated successfully and i am giving a condition where if uh, if condition like if window dot location dot path name is this okay the base battery uh, path directory uh, i have to one delete uh, i have given a function called one delete it will just give this um dollar as dot uh, table uh, table body table data a dot delete okay anchor dot delete so that it will delete that corresponding uh, thing alone so one on delete function okay like on delete property i have used okay on on delete dot click off function okay when i click that no it should delete so that the id also gets uh, deleted so attribute of data id also will be deleted where request equal to url so that particular url uh, uh, users id it will go and the method i'm going to use here delete since here uh, i i'm going to the data id and i'm going to create it okay sorry okay i'm going to create it but here if you see i'm going to delete it so the method should be here delete whereas there when i want to create that uh, data okay that re record i have to put the i have to name the method as put okay whereas when i want to delete it the method name should be delete so if comes some do you really want to delete this record and then i'm going to give dot ajax of request dot done of function of response i'm going to alert again uh, data deleted successfully and then i want to uh, the location to be reloaded off so this is with the index so i have shown how you have cre uh, how to create a, re a record okay and you have to enter the details i have shown how to update the user okay i have shown also to up um, update the existing user add a new user okay i have basically uh, what i did was i performed the crud operations and i have also deleted some users okay if you want uh, you can also see it in this dv okay now let me again um, run my project okay so terminal new terminal okay give npm start okay it must uh, consult or log when i use i used like our uh, server running on so server is running on that particular local host and i also 
uh, mention console uh, log of uh, MangoDB connected so that if you go to this uh, um, port so like if you go to that block local host uh, 3000 okay I have uh, currently three things okay if I'm going to add a new user I can add like um, like I can add like RAM okay uh, give the email as ram at email.com and gender as male okay I'm going to save it as inactive and I'm going to save okay data insert is successfully okay so if I you click again all users I can see this ram had to be shown and similarly I want it to be shown in this also so let me refresh this now I will be having the third ID okay as RAM will be inserted in this it takes some time for this uh, mango D mongo DB uh, to be uh, loaded okay now you could see the query result is three okay so here you can see name RAM email RAM at email.com gender mail status is inactive so I can also perform um, okay deletion over here also so so it's hopefully working okay the current app which I created over here is hopefully working so you can try this implementing with everything in the next lecture i would like to show some ppt uh, if you have not understand some concepts like uh, what is mvc model uh, view uh, routes okay uh, sorry model view controller if you have not understood the concepts of mvc and what is a route routes or routes so that I have shown a PPT so that you can refer that PPT and also do check out my GitHub profile okay Vijay Arjun 2k so there I have my CRUD app okay you can get this code over there so thank you so for CRUD operation uh, you may you may want to, to know about uh, some CRUD operations like insert into all those things right so i have given a ppt here so insert into statement is used to add new data into a database so it adds a new record to a table and contains values for some or all of its columns it can be combined with a select statement to insert into records so this is the sample i have given insert into artist of artist id and so on so like if you have multiple values this is how you have to do so these are with the uh, sq but what we have learnt is no sql so for mongodb is a no sql relationship whereas sql is a okay structured query language so both are uh, different so here i have used sql okay this ppt contains sql so if you want uh, to know about more about crud and the queries you can also go through this but our utmost uh, thing is to uh, learn about uh, the Node.js and MongoDB for uh, building a CRUD application. So I hope this uh, whole lecture is, was interesting and uh, feel, be free, uh, feel free to give your reviews. So based on your reviews I can try to improve myself and uh, don't forget to give a rating okay 5 star okay as you as you want and so i can do myself well in next courses so till then sign off thank you happy learning